children today we are going to start the new chapter that is principles of management in our last chapter that is nature and significance of management we have studied what is management and different concept related to this term let us move forward with our new chapter principles of management first of all let us see what is the meaning of management principle principles of management are broad and general guideline for decision making and behavior of manager so simply uh, stating it is a general guideline for decision making and behavior of manager next it is given the nature characteristic features of management principle there are seven points we are going to discuss one by one in brief first one is universal applicability the principles of management are intended to apply in all type of organization that is business non business small as well as large public sector or private sector manufacturing or service sector you can see the application of principles of management in all of this type but the extent of its applicability would vary according to the nature of organization business activity and the scales of operation uh, simply concluding it is a universally applicability second point is general guideline management principle they provide a general guideline to managerial action however it do not provide you with a ready made solution to all the managerial problems because you know that managerial problems are complex and dynamic and uh, they are as a result of many factors so a complete depend on this uh, principle will not be possible because uh, it's too dynamic our business situations are too dynamic so it does not give you a ready made solution third point form by practice and experimentation management principles are not developed overnight but it is formed because of the two main basis first one is observation and experimentation let us see an example for this if a company is facing a problem of fatigueness of workers then an experiment can be conducted to see that Uh, the effect of improvement of their physical condition can be used to reduce their stress so by that way we can solve the problem of fatigue of workers by experimenting on the workers we can check whether their stress can be reduced or not then second one is personal experience of manager for example it is a matter of personal experience of manager that dis discipline is indispensable for accomplishing the organization objective so it is only from the experience that managers realize that discipline is very much important for uh, organization to accomplish their objective next one is flexible management principles are not rigid prescription which have to be followed absolutely you know that uh, scientific principles are too rigid because their results are very accurate very systematic and they can't be changed but management principle they are not as rigid as pure science we can change them according to the uh, need or circumstances so they are flexible and can be modified by the manager when the whenever the situation so demands so we can say that management principles are flexible next one is mainly behavioral management principle are mainly behavioral in nature because they aim at influencing the behavior of human beings so management principle because they deal with humans and Uh, the manager have to influence the behavior of the human we can term management principle as behavioral principles of management enables a better understanding of relationship between human and material resources in accomplishing organization goal 
because the main emphasis is on the organization goal the manager have to find out the relationship between human and material resources and that uh, he, how can he achieve that understanding it is from the principles of management next point is cause and effect relationship principles of management tells the manager if a particular principle is applied in a particular situation what will be its likely effect so here when the manager is encountering a problem so he will have to find out the cause of that problem and if that problem happens what effect will be uh, in what way it will affect the business so on that basis he can find out the solution for it so we can say that principles of management is all about cause and effect relationship seventh point is contingent the principles of application of principles of management is contingent or depend upon the prevailing situation at a particular point of time the application of principle have to be changed as per the requirements to understand this point let us go for an example suppose employees deserve fair and just remuneration this is one of the principles of management but what is just and fair is de determined by multiple factors like contribution of the employee paying capacity of the employer and prevailing wage rate for the occupation under consideration so if the employee is asking for fair and just remuneration for an organization what is just and fair he had to identify this all things and then have have to determine what is the just and fair wage according to that privilege prevail, uh, prevailing condition or particular point of time so principle application of this principle depend upon the prevailing situation